Across this great nation, there is a culture of people who carry on a heritage. They have an intangible quality that can't be described, but it comes from deep within their hearts. They share an appreciation for the greatest things that come from Mother Earth. They watch over, understand, and care for the vast wilds of this great country. Fishing, hunting, and trapping are the foundations that Canada was built on. For over two centuries, we have taken to the woods and water to pursue wild game. Today, it's about conservation, preservation, and wildlife management. Whether you are a man or woman, fish or hunt, you should support sound wildlife management and proudly say, I am an angler and hunter. The Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters proudly presents Angler and Hunter Television. Brought to you by Canadian Tire, Nikon Sport Optics, Mercury Marine and Lund Boats, Yamaha ATVs, Browning Ammunition, Browning Firearms, Suffolk's Fishing Line, Rapala, Camillus Knives and Cuda Tools, Excalibur Crossbones, and Yukon Gear. You got one yet? No. Look on the fish finder right now. That's underneath you. That's oh, your lure yeah. jigging. Right in the mat meat of all those fish. Got one. You do not. Ta-da! Three. There's your answer. Is it an eater? I can catch three in a row. <laughs> Try and keep them out of my hair. <laughs> you don't have any hair. You're bald. Other than your chin. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> People don't know that. I'm wearing a hat. I could have lovely hair. <laughs> you don't, though. <laughs> we often underestimate what our kids are capable of. Fishing, for instance, is one of those activities where we try to simplify things for them to the point where it most likely seems very boring and they lose interest quickly. Uh, that was back now. No. Nope. What? <laughs> duck, 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 duck. I shot six ducks. There's no ducks out here. Got one. Oh, great. Well, today I'm heading out in search of some eating-sized sunfish with my eight-year-old daughter, August. So August is a better fisherman than her dad. These are some big ones, eh, kid? One more and I... <laughs> that's no, that's no sunfish, is it? Oh, yes, it is. Oh, it's another one of those blue ones. That's a beauty. Even when I was a kid, my dad used to always make wagers to keep me and my brothers interested. A buck for the first fish, a buck for the biggest fish, and a buck for the most fish was the one I remember most. Oh, that's a good one. Here. Oh, it's big. Drop. Okay, I won't use the net. You just lift them over here. It is a big one. See how his stomach sticks out at the bottom like this? Yeah. That's an eater. How do you hold them? You have to hold the sunfish like that, like this, because they have lots of spikes. Okay. Let's... Open the live well. Nice one. He's going crazy. I'll wipe my hand. You catch another one. Okay. Oh, look at you! All of a sudden, you're the fish master, he? Huh? Big one. Oh, look at the color of that thing, kid. It's Ooh, glowing it. orange. That's the epitome of a sunfish, isn't it? To catch mature slab-sized sunfish in the summer, <laughs> say that five times real fast, you need to utilize some electronics and fish almost like you would for deep water walleye or smallmouth bass. By idling along deep water breaks, we can scan the hummingbird for schools of panfish. There's some. Hit anchor. Got it? Once we hit, perfect. Once we locate a school, it's as simple as hitting spot lock on the Minn Kota and then setting up for some fast-paced panfish action. That's a good school and they're up high. You know what that means? What? They're gonna feed. When they're on bottom, they're usually just milling about. But when they're up high, they're eating some sort of a hatch or something. I try to make sure August understands how the electronics work 
Thanks, Daddy. And what we're looking for. I also explained how these fish will bite and what it will feel like. Ah, it's a small one. Your drag must have got loosened. Well, it's still 10. Whatever. Now I get to go have a snack. Look at this, she's leaving. Wait, you said I can get a snack at 10. Hey! You don't know where the snacks are. But in no time at all, I realized this kid is way ahead of me and just wants to fill the boat with scrappy sunfish. This is how I fish with sunfish, is I let the line sit until I get in hit, and if I haven't gotten any hits, I would do one little dig, and after that I'll do one more, and then if I start getting hits, I'll just leave it again and then you it. I just took your advice and caught one. I actually have been having like 600 hits while I was talking. Really? Why didn't you catch one while you were talking? Because I was talking! Oh, 600 hits while I was talking. Well, I listened to what... Ow! I just got spiked. I listened to what you said and I caught one. <sighs> 600 hits. Wow. I had like hits every time. You would have looked like a total expert if you caught one when you were talking. I know. <laughs> Why come I always catch little ones? And I catch the big ones? And they poo on me. <laughs> you got one? Yeah. This portion of Angler and Hunter Television brought to you by Yamaha ATVs. Um, You're probably on the bottom already. Oh. Lift and catch one. They like to hit it on the fall. Yeah, there you go. Lift and drop. <gasps> got one. No! Can I borrow your lure for a minute? No. <laughs> oh, it's a big one! No it's way! It's a big one! It's a big one! <laughs> when you find midsummer schools of sunfish... That's an eater. There can literally be hundreds of fish piled up holding in depths from 15 to 40 feet of water. It's not as easy as people think catching sunfish. Once you drop a bait on them, it can be absolute mayhem. Sorry, I'm in the middle of catching giant sunfish. Look at this one. 16th and 32nd ounce BMC waxy jigs or hard baits like slab wraps and rip and wraps can have you pulling in fish after fish. Almost eater size, eh? So for the most part, all we're gonna be throwing today is, is tiny little panfish jigs, which ultimately is stuff you use for ice fishing. 16th ounce and 32nd ounce jigs. Um, VMC has some cool stuff out. It's all pre-packaged. They've got curly-tailed grubs like this. Um, they've got little wax-tailed grubs that are just a straight tail. Uh, so we're going to be mixing it up between that and then like a jigging shad wrap and a jigging wrap, the little small ones. Fish them on light line, six to eight pound. We've got uh, Suffolk Siege here. There's clear and green. And uh, you're basically just going to drop that down right to bottom, lift it up a foot, and hang it there, and just shimmy it around, and exper you got one? <laughs> and experiment. But we'll be watching them on the hummingbirds. We'll see them come up to it. You'll know whether to jig it or just to hang it there. And hold on and get ready to have fun. How's that Pop-Tart going down? Maybe that's who we should get sponsored by. Nutrition, provided by? Ring Pops and Pop-Tarts. Ring pops and pop tarts. Did you just say that? <laughs> Ring pops and pop tarts. <laughs> right on. Oh, mine. As I mentioned earlier, when I was a kid, my dad motivated me with money to keep fishing. It was a buck for the first fish, buck for the biggest fish, and buck for the most fish. But with August, well. I caught 13 fish. She pretty much took all three of these categories, and I think just outdoing me was motivation enough. Catch another one, Fishmaster G. Hello. I'll buy you a, a 10 pack, I'll buy you like a pack of ring pops if you can get to 25 sunfish. 20. Nope, 25. 20. Okay, zero, how's that? How's Deals off. Fine, 24. You drive a hard bargain. <laughs> oh, I can see my lure going down. This is gonna be awesome. Down, 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 I'm down, 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 down. Fish. Look at my lure on the screen. See the line? Got one. I'm not even at the bottom Whoa. Yet. Ooh, this one's aggressive. It's definitely a bull. I think, August, we've discovered the ultimate sunfish lure. That one's an eater. Look at the belly on this one. Ooh, yeah. 
Yeah. Ooh, it's got a belly like mine. Oh, yeah, 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 On the secret yeah, yeah, hook. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't as have fun it. as this is, and as much as we're messing around, <laughs> this is deadly for catching sunfish. Okay, I'm at one. I'm at the And it's an ice fishing lure. Now, normally, these jigging wraps and jigging shad wraps have just a treble hook. But I've taken this off, and VMC makes a little tiny treble with that egg on it. Oh, and when this hangs down there, well, sunfish are just coming up, and that's the, that's what they're eating. I'm telling you right now, they're down there. I'm seeing them. I've got fish poop on my hand. Okay, I'm going to be at two oh, any one, second. I got, one. I got one. Oh no, she's going to outfish me. Oh, I just had one. Holy. Does that feel like a sunfish or a bass? A bass. It's fighting good, whatever it, could be it is. a sunfish, actually. Oh, it's a big one. Look at the size of that beast. <laughs> Bring it on over here. Right to the live well. Oh, this sorry. way. <laughs> wow, that's a tank. That's almost as big as the one I caught. It's bigger. Oh yeah, I caught a big fish. Mm -hmm. You stay up there and catch those ones. I'm gonna go back here, catch all these ones. Yeah, the tiny ones. Oh, I was almost at two. But you weren't. Oh yeah? But you aren't. You wanna one. bet? Well, I'm a 14, so why should I worry? You watch and listen here, kid. I'm going to catch up to you. Since 1928, the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters has been a leader in conservation. For the past 25 years, Angler and Hunter Television has been bringing the OFAH conservation message to millions of viewers to conserve and protect our great outdoors. Once abundant in Lake Ontario, Atlantic salmon fell prey to clear-cutting, dam and mill construction and over-harvest, and disappeared from the lake more than 100 years ago. In April of 2006, the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters, in partnership with the Ontario Ministry of Natural Resources and other significant partners, launched the Lake Ontario Atlantic Salmon Restoration Program, also known as Bring Back the Salmon. The program involves working to restore the once thriving Atlantic salmon to Lake Ontario and its tributaries. Other benefits include the almost 200 cold water stream habitat restoration projects completed over the last 10 years. Angler and Hunter Television is proud to bring the OFAH message of conservation and passion for the outdoors to viewers around the world, sharing the traditions of hunting, fishing and trapping. This portion of Angler and Hunter Television brought to you by Browning Ammunition. Daddy, I'm a fishing unicorn. <laughs> You're something unicorn. I'm a fishing unicorn. I'm a fishing unicorn. Come here, I need you to come here with your rod. Fishing I've never seen anything unicorn. like it. That screen is jammed. <laughs> they are thick as thieves here, August. Have you ever seen a screen so full of fish? August, what do sunfish do when they fight? How do they fight? Oh, they do it like this. <laughs> That's the sunfish fight? They spin in circles. There's something giant under the boat, August. How do you know? Look at that big thick bar on the fish finder, the red one. Musky! It is an eater. Now you did it. Oh, ah, hey, ah. <laughs> I have been fishing well, so you much. You smashed him. What did you just say? I've been fishing so much today, my wrist hurts. <laughs> Give me some wine. <laughs> you <laughs> annihilated this thing. Open live well, kid. Move your foot. Well, I will. Hi, fish. Whoa, my rod's getting pulled in the lake. This is it. It's lunch time. What time is it? It's time for lunch. It's poo poo time. And it's peeing on me. Did you see that? This fish peed on me. Oh, it's not in yet? I'll open it again. Here no, goes. he's too small. We're letting him go. The action is fast paced, and the laughs and goofing off can make the morning go by pretty quickly. Yep. I'm trying to get small hooks out of a fish's mouth with a kid climbing on my back. 
and the anticipation of hitting shore and frying up some of these delectable little rays of sunshine was making us hungry. They always look so sad. <laughs> Are you going to have a big feast of these deep fried? Mm -hmm. However, before we got our last few fish for lunch, Look at that. You want to use this? No, it's I'm deadly. It's deadly. <laughs> August had something on the line that something certainly there, wasn't seconds. a sunfish. Daddy, I what? got something. Hey? Big. I think you're snagged. It's not a sunfish. I think you're snagged. It's not a sunfish. I saw. Daddy, see it. It's big. It's big. It's big. It's a muskie. Okay. Whoa, no, don't do that. Okay. You just want to reel slowly. August, you got a muskie. Look at this thing. Oh my. <laughs> Easy. No, no. It's, it's light line. Let him swim. We don't have anything here. <laughs> oh, it broke her line and jumped. Oh. See the size of that thing? <laughs> Hear her scream. <laughs> How big was that muskie? That made the pike you caught up, but Kasagami looked like a minnow, didn't it? What a thrill to be eight years old and have a monster muskie leap through the air and peel drag was a bonus. <laughs> and an experience, I'm sure, will have my girl wanting to chase muskies every time we hit the water. Oh my God, August. That would have been epic if that thing came in. I didn't... It... <laughs> you know how epic this show would have been if we landed that? I, I, I'm so I know. That is the exact reason people get hooked on fishing. The Fishing Edge is brought to you by Minn Kota and Humminbird. To get the edge over the sunfish, August used a Rapala Girl five and a half foot medium action rod and reel combo, spooled with six pound suffix monofilament. I used a six foot nine medium light action R-type rod spooled with eight pound suffix siege line. Rapala slab wraps, jigging shad wraps, and an assortment of soft plastic BMC grubs had the sunfish in a frenzy. Humminbird's Helix 10 fish finder and the Minn Kota Ultrex with spot lock had us holding over the schools. A Cuda folding fillet knife made for quick cleaning and a frying pan full of sunfish fillets. So obviously I got out fish today, right? But who's gonna cook lunch? You? Are you gonna fillet all these fish? Oh. Well, I'll eat them. All right. I won't cook them. But uh, it's funny, you know, August, we were out shopping and uh, she sees this rod on the rack and said I had to have it. <laughs> and is it because it's pink? Not just because it's pink, just because it says Rapala Girl on it. Oh, Rapala so. Girl. But actually, you know, it's a five and a half foot medium action. So it's, you know, for walleye or panfish, it's a pretty good rod. Now it is pretty spongy. And for a 16, 30 second, quarter, eighth ounce, any weight jig uh, you can get away with on this, put six or eight pound test on it. And I mean, you even probably caught the biggest muskie of your life. Almost um, caught him. I pretty much caught the only muskie I've kind of caught. In my Can you imagine you landed him with that stick? Yeah, hopefully, upsettingly, I didn't, but I kind of caught him, like right. halfway, halfway. Yeah, and then for me, I've been using um, six foot nine medium light action. These are like drop shot rods I like to use, R type and yes. they're spooled with eight pound siege and I've been mixing up slab wraps, um, the, the jigging shad wrap and a bunch of soft plastic VMC little curly tail grubs and stuff. Simple, not a lot of investment here. The biggest investment for, for doing this is a, is a good fish finder. As you see, we're sitting over top of 100, fish. 200 fish. Right there. And 20 feet over that way and 20 feet over that way there's no fish so you got to find the trough mark the fish in it and then you spot lock with that trolling motor at the front though right we haven't moved can we go eat now yeah good let's get out of here with the legend of the lost muskie and a live well full of sunfish it was time to run the lund to shore and cook up a good old-fashioned shore lunch okay let's go eat i never like get tired of preparing a shore lunch Ooh, these taters are hot no restaurant in the world can offer this kind of setting. What is this guy? Sunfish? Sunfish. Your second favorite fish? Yeah. What's your first favorite? Crappy. Sunfish is good though. 
And for kids, it's a chance to explore, stretch their legs, and enjoy a time-honored tradition of eating fresh-caught fish while taking in the great outdoors. Smile at me, kid. And one more. So <laughs> the next time we talk about going out on the lake and catching some sunfish, or bass, or even muskie for that matter, I know that August is going to try to outfish her dad, all while having the time of her life. When you clip a sunfish, you know it's big. Watch your hook. You gotta get a picture with this. Nothing beats watching your children getting excited about a fun day on the water. Closed captioning of Angler and Hunter Television is brought to you in part by Ontario Out of Doors Magazine. Angler and Hunter Television has been brought to you by Canadian Tire, Nikon Sport Optics, Mercury Marine and Lund Boats, Yamaha ATVs, Browning Ammunition, Browning Firearms, Suffolk's Fishing Line, Rapala, Camillus Knives and Cuda Tools, Excalibur Crossbows, and Yukon Gear. For more information on the products used in this episode of Angler and Hunter Television, visit AHTV.com. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Remember, conserve and protect our great outdoors.